When we wrote the standards, obviously we have to be very careful about um, writing them on a generic basis. There's no favoritism to uh, a particular brand of, of coating or even a particular generic type of coating. The committees are made up of representatives from uh, users, contractors, uh, electric utilities, paint manufacturers, they're all part of these committees and everybody has input into them and we were trying to come up with a standard based on experience and based on what has proven to be the best way to do this kind of work. I've seen almost every generic type of coating tried at some point. The system that we use it has been proven for 75 years with little change to the formula and that's kind of unheard of in the paint business. In other markets, newer, higher performing technologies come in and take over for what was there. Here, nothing has come in and taken over for what we have, which is the easiest to mix, the easiest to apply, the most surface tolerant, the lowest stress on the old coatings that are on there. Well, the painting project that's going on uh, behind us is a perfect example of what we were speaking about as far as proven experience of the coating system that we're talking about. These structures were painted last in 1993. At that point, they had a significant amount of corrosion on them, and at that uh, stage of the game, the primer that we were using was just a long oil alkyd primer. Um, it was that predates the penetrating sealers that we use now. Uh, but we put a coat of primer on there and, and a coat of the uh, the long oils uh, zinc dust alkyd uh, tower paint. And here we are 27 years later, and there is virtually no surface preparation required. There's no limit to the extension of service life of these transmission structures, which are an integral part of the electric grid infrastructure.